Welcome to Highlights from Pesticide Action Network International's webinar, Agroecology, Farmers' Pathways to Liberation from Pesticides. To give you a little information about Pesticide Action Network or PAN, we are a global network dedicated to the elimination of environmental and human health harms from pesticide use. And we are working to replace hazardous pesticides with ecological and socially just alternatives. So why agroecology? Why does PAN work on agroecology? Well, we see agroecology as offering some of the most robust solutions available to help us move away from the trap of pesticide dependence and the harms of hazardous pesticides. So the need to radically rethink, reconceive and change our approach to agriculture and really fundamentally our relationship to the earth has become paramount. Agroecology is grounded in local peasant and indigenous knowledge, as well as in scientific principles and investigation. Agroecology is practical, adaptive and resilient. Furthermore, agroecology is a movement, a social movement for social and ecological justice, and it's a pillar of food sovereignty. Today, we'll hear directly from farmers in PANS network, whose stories demonstrate their success in eliminating dependence on highly hazardous pesticides and in establishing productive, profitable and resilient agroecological farming systems. First, farmers discuss their motivations in making the transition away from pesticides. No. Nosotros venimos del modelo agroindustrial, digamos de trabajar 2500 hectáreas y y bueno, Después de 25 o 30 años de estar eh, haciendo siembra directa, nos dimos cuenta que, digamos, el modelo estaba, este, que ya no daba más. Y, y empezamos a visibilizar eh, la pérdida eh, de, del buen vivir que teníamos, ¿no? Eso fue, digamos, así, eh, a partir de ahí empezamos a transitar, eh, digamos, todo, toda una búsqueda, ¿no? Porque en realidad fue bastante abrupto, digamos, salir de un modelo, digamos, agroindustrial, eh, productivista, a entrar a un modelo, digamos, agroecológico. Nosotros tuvimos que hacer toda una transición de aprendizaje y de educación, o reeducarnos, o volver a regenerarnos, para también poder regenerar eh, el, el espacio y, y, y la vida, ¿no? I think en Bara Bara Dio, I think a, a, a four cantitón y fumo en el Eje, a fumo en el Pasato, yo no hay que no me fumo en la tupa, 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 no me fumo en la My primary motivation to stop using pesticides came when I watched my husband handling the liquid herbicides that it was going to use on a soybean field. And I realized how much direct contact the farmers um, have with these toxic chemicals. I combined that with the, the, my mother's skin rash that she developed whenever she was near glyphosate. And the decision to stop no, using pesticides was easily the right one to make. After transitioning to agroecology or restoring indigenous and traditional practices, farmers continue to realize benefits to the soil, biodiversity, and ecosystem health. Mm-hmm. 
me son para para de ducora y vas a ver que vamos el calle eh, haciendo agroecología con el objetivo de regenerar la vida del suelo. Para esto abordamos lo que sería la ganadería ovina. Mupad versa, kurse kurse tali. Rand versa y seguimo. To attract pollinators, uh, we have um, medicinal and culinary herbs planted amongst the trees. We also use cover crops uh, the, the, that both provide weed control and provide nitrogen. Agroecology also provides social, economic, and cultural benefits to farmers and their communities, increasing community participation from youth and women. <laughs> You can listen to her by unmuting the audio, original audio. The farmers also shared the importance of having supportive local and national policies and building a broad political movement to advance agroecology and transform our food and farming systems. Me gustaría, digamos, este, ya que, bueno, todos los panel, panelistas eh, somos mujeres y, y me da la, que, digamos, no es un dato menor, eh, poder eh, enfocar de la, la, la importancia y el compromiso y la responsabilidad que tenemos como, como mujeres. Eh, porque si uno se va a la naturaleza, la especie, la hembra, es la que... What brings me hope are the social movements that are embracing agroecology. Agroecology goes beyond organic, regenerative, and sustainable because it includes a political education component built through these social movements. That political analysis allows us to understand the agriculture and food systems as they exist and how to challenge those systems. Agroecology can serve as a framework for building and sharing farmer knowledge that allows agriculture to flourish without the use of highly hazardous pesticides, accompanied by numerous ecological, social, cultural, and political benefits. To hear more of what these farmers have to say, and view videos of their farms, you may find the full-length webinar published by the PAN International Agroecology Workgroup. PAN will also be hosting another webinar focused on the policy changes needed to support agroecology, and we hope you'll join us then. Thank you.